Um, the theme of my presentation is every expert was once a trainee. And uh, I'm going to talk about opportunities in engineering, but particularly I'm going to talk about apprenticeships. But at the end, please feel free to ask me about anything. First of all, opportunities in engineering are huge. Over 5 million people are employed in engineering in the UK. Now, we drew a circle here around 50 miles around Birmingham. We found so many companies. So if anyone tells you there are no opportunities, we don't make anything anymore, there's fantastic opportunity. Why did I um, go into engineering? When I was young, I, I looked, believe it or not, something like that. Uh, yes, it is me, not changed so much. I was inquisitive, I was interested in how things worked. And uh, I had a bit of a habit of taking things apart. You know, I'd got my father's screwdriver and everything. Probably some of you can, uh, can uh, relate to that, but not so good at putting them back together again. Um, but that's how I was. When I went to school, I got reasonable GCSEs. And originally, I was going to do A-levels. I got my place for A-levels. And um, one day, my father came home and said, I've met this guy. He runs the apprenticeship program at a company called Pirelli Tires. Maybe it's something you want to consider. And uh, I, didn't want, I didn't know what a pr an apprenticeship was. There was nothing like this, but I gave it a go. Um, I spent my time at Pirelli as an engineer. I, at the same time, I did a degree. But to be honest with you, the company I work for now, Toyota, what really helped me was the real world experience of what an apprenticeship gave me, working in a real job, doing real things, working with real people. And uh, that's how I started, and it's really helped me to progress. But what is engineering? How many people here have been in a, in a factory or in an engineering company? Put your hand up. Well, you have, because you work there. We know that. Uh. Okay, probably a fifth of you, something like that. Let's have a look at a video. We're, we're going to show you a car made in about one minute. But what I want you to do is imagine the kind of skills or the kind of systems or the kind of technologies that we're using and then imagine uh, how we'd get those in our career. Okay, there you go, just one minute. But in reality, in our factory, we are producing a vehicle every 66 seconds. So if you saw the level of technology in there, the press machines, the size of a house, uh, the robots, and you, if you imagine the kinds of techniques and skills we require to maintain that operation, then we need welding, we need electronic skill, we need machining, fluid power, sensors, electrical wire, computers, and so on. So how do you get those skills? Well. We put people through what we call an apprenticeship. And the apprenticeship takes you from being the trainee through to an expert. It gives you practical hands-on experience. You can earn at the same time as you learn. You can convert theory into practice, and you're going to be an asset to any organization. But additionally, and importantly, the characteristic of an apprentice is someone who's got a passion for engineering, highly committed, team worker, challenge and a problem solver. So what does an apprenticeship program look like? Well, an av advanced apprenticeship is usually three or four years. Um, you can enter as a school leaver. We do have a number of people who, who also enter uh, after A-level. The minimum requirements for a company like ours are four GCSEs, maths, English, a science, plus one other, C or above. And you'll spend time in a training center. We're going to show you some of that in a moment on video. And then you get to grow throughout your career as an apprentice and work in the factory with more experienced people than yourself who can safely teach you how to craft your skills. 
at the end of the third or fourth year, you become a maintenance technician. Um, but I think it's better we show you what it looks like in reality. So you're going to see some real apprentices who today are doing their apprenticeship on the next video. Hi, my name's Liam. I've been trained on pneumatics, which includes safe operation and isolation of the equipment, designing the circuits and choosing the correct components, such as speed control valves, and also building cascade circuits. Here is an example of a cascade circuit that I built earlier. Hi, my name is Jess. I've recently finished my apprenticeship. This is Winder Kit, which is an example of a pneumatic equipment that I maintain. Hi, my name is Marco. I've been doing training in PLCs in three different areas. Firstly, the safety operations of a PLC. Secondly, we've got the simple arithmetic. And thirdly, ladder logic to control a sequence of operations. Here is a simple example of what I've done for a pick and place sequence. Hi, my name's Dan. I've recently finished my apprenticeship. Show body lift is an example of PLC equipment that I maintain. Hi, my name is Robin. I've been trained in robot teaching, which includes safe entry into a robot cell, the basic motions of a robot, and how to record and teach a basic program. This is a program that I've made earlier. Hi, my name's Jack. I recently finished my apprenticeship. The roof load process is an example of robotic equipment that I maintain. And uh, our appreciation for that video for, uh, from uh, Burton and South Derbyshire College who helped us put it together. Um, what we tried to show there was what you're learning when you're doing your apprenticeship and how it, cr it relates to the reality of a manufacturing and an engineering company. Um, but what I'd like to do, rather than just hear from me, I'm going to introduce Marco to the stage. He's one of our apprentices. You may recognise him from the movie. Give him a round of applause, everyone. Yeah. Come on, Marco. Come on. Don't be shy. I know you're not shy. So I'm going to ask him a question, and uh, I guess the question is, Marco, why would you recommend an apprenticeship to the young people here today? What, what do you think, what's the best thing? Or even I could say, why was joining Toyota the best decision you ever made in your life? <laughs> Sorry, that's, not, that's a leading question. Go on. Well, uh, for me personally, there's um, two main aspects or benefits that I've gained from being on an apprenticeship. Uh, the first one being stability. From an apprenticeship, you get a lot of stability because... You're going to work every day and you're learning from two different types of people. Uh, the first one being experienced members on the job. Some have been up there to 20 years who can offer a lot. And you've also got the tutors from the college or from another education source. They're a great help to you as well. And obviously the second one is maturity. With an apprenticeship you get a lot of maturity. Um, you've got to do th simple things like timekeeping, uh, looking after yourself, getting to work on time, getting there safely. And it's all independence really. So me personally, I'm quite biased towards apprenticeships. I'd I don't really, yeah, I'd rather not go to university, but that's me, so yeah. Brilliant, thank you very much, Marco, well done. Okay, so we've about come to the end of what I was going to say, and we'll have some time for Q&A, but as an employer, uh, what do we look for? If I was to give any advice to you, I'd say probably three things. First of all, I appreciate the number of you here today are beyond GCSE, but whatever you're studying, do your best. We've all got different capability but do your best. It's really important. There's a lot of competition out there. So that's the first thing. The second thing, it's not only about qualifications. It's about you as a person, you as an individual. It's about the behaviors and your personality. You know, as I said, they were looking for people who are going to challenge, people with problem-solving, thinking, people with teamwork ability. So 
you may now be volunteering for something, you may be having work experience, you may have been a girl guide or a scout, sports team, you may, any, any of those things, please tell us about it. That tells us a lot about you as an individual. Thirdly, when you apply for an apprenticeship, of course there's going to be an interview process. And uh, how are you going to make sure you're not forgotten? You've got to be remembered. Now, bring with you, bring portfolios of work, bring examples. When I went to my uh, first interview for my apprenticeship, one of my interests was making kind of electronic gadgets and things, so I took a couple of carrier bags fulls of my project. That steered the interview. That was the point of interest for the company that I applied to. So to date, you've heard from Marco personally. You've seen a number of our apprentices on the screen. You've heard, heard about my journey. I guess the question is, what's going to be your journey? Consider apprenticeship. Y your journey can, has no limit. It's uh, a fantastic opportunity. So thank you very much for giving me your time.